In this video, we are going to say that Quinn Meclis method, otherwise called prime implicant method, or otherwise called tabulation method. Already we have seen reduction of equation Boolean, uh, Boolean algebra using Boolean laws. Okay, so the next what we have seen is Karnoff map. How we can reduce reduce the equation using Karnoff map. Next method is our Quinn Meclis method. So why we go for this? Using Karnoff map, we can do up to six variable reduction only. If the uh, equation consists of six variables, we can go for Karnoff map. But if the number of variables are more, then the Karnoff map is of not much use. So in that case, we can go for the next one, that is Quinn Meclis method. But while explaining, for explanation purpose, I'm using only a four variable uh, equations. This can be applied for more than six variables also. Okay, the same method you can apply. Now I'm going to explain how to use the tabulation method and reduce the equation. Finally, we will see with the Karnoff map the same how we can attain the same result. For that only, I have taken the four variable uh, equation. Okay, let us consider uh, sum of product equation which consists of the following min terms. There is 0, 1, 2, 8, 10, 11, 14, 15. So the first step uh, is there are actually two steps involved. First is finding the prime implicant. Okay, the next one is, first is finding the prime implicant. Oh, one minute. The next one is uh, essential, essential prime implicant. From the, uh, these are the two steps. The first step you have to find the prime implicant. Then from the prime implicant, what are all the very important prime implicant for, for that particular equation? From this equation, what are all the essential prime implicant? That is what we are going to see. Okay, so now we are going to write uh, in a tablet form, uh, the given min term and its values. Okay, so we write first the variables. Let us take either you can take it as x y uh, w x y z or we can take it as a a b c d. No problem. So now let us consider w x y z. Now for zero we write the respective binary equivalent. Okay, for one this is the equivalent. Then two, eight, ten, eleven. 14 and 15. So the first step in tabulation method is like this. You have to write first write the uh, min terms uh, given in the equation and then write the respective binary equivalent. Now, the next, as a next step, what we have to do is we have to uh, group. We have to form the groups. So what do you mean by group? Uh, you have to check the binary values and you have to group in such a way that first will be, there'll be no ones. Then the second group, it will consist of one, uh, it will consist of the binary numbers which have only one in their values. Then the second group, you have to check for the binary numbers which have only two ones. So likewise, the next one, three ones and four ones, like that you have to group. So first I'll write and I'll explain it again. Say for example, here, group one, we are going to write a group one. So how we are going to write the group one? Let us take it as group one. So in this group one, uh, we will write like this. Okay. Then why is that? So this is the combination. 
Here in the first group, I said without one. That will be the first group. So here without one is actually we have our zeros. Okay. Then in group two. So in group two. Let's take the group two. So here we'll draw the distinguish. Okay. Right. Now in group two, how you, uh, already I told you, you how to select the uh, binary number which has only a single one. So if you take single one, this is having a only one zero 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 one. Okay, this is having one. And if you take two also, there is only one in that. If you take eight also, there is only one that. Whereas if you take, if it is five is involved, let us imagine five is that. Okay, if you have five, then what will happen? Five will consist of two ones in it. So that will not come here. You have to select group in such a way that first it has no ones, then it has group of two, then, uh, sorry, group of ones, then, the next group will consist of group of two, two ones in that. Then you have to go for three ones and four ones. So now what we are doing is we have to assign the group in such a way that it has only single one. So the first one here it comes. Okay, then next one is zero. It so happened in this example, in the next next uh, min term, it comes only one one. But if it is a three or four, definitely it will be, you have to bring the three down because three will consist of two ones. So now we write this. Okay, so G one, this has only one one, this has only one in it, and this also has only one in it. Now we separate it. Okay. In all the other cases, if you see this, there are two ones. Here three ones, here three ones are there, four ones are there. So now our next job is to find the next group. That is group three. Now, in group three, we have, we must find here already, we find a group which has only one in there, min term. Now we have to find the one which has two ones. So we have to find a min term which has two ones. So this is the one, two, one, zero, one, zero, okay. So this, and then only one this. Uh, I think this 10 only has two ones in this given minter. Okay, so with this, this group is over. So let us draw a line to distinguish. Okay, the next one, we have to write, we have to go for three ones. So it is G4. So now, one, zero, one, one, okay. So this is one, one min term, that is this. And in this term also, there are three ones are there. So let us take that also in this group, because that is a rule. So zero. Okay, now the next one is the next group. It consists of four ones. So now it is one, 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 and one. Okay, we'll separate this by drawing a line. Okay. Right, now, so 
is draw a horizontal line. Now, what happened? Okay, this is the from this we first form the group. Okay, this is the first step in arranging the first we have to arrange it as a group where the first group will consist of no ones, the second group will consist of only ones in their binary number, and the second group two ones and three ones and four ones. Okay, now in the next step, what we have to do is we have to check for variables. Uh, we have to check for the min terms where the variable changes in only one place. So, for example, uh, and that also we have to consider in the next next group only. So, for example, G1 can be compared with G2. G2 can be compared with G3. G3 can be compared with G4. G4 can be compared with G5. That's all. G3 cannot be compared with G5. G1 cannot be compared with G4. So, they can be uh, with the adjacent group only, they have to be compared. Okay, this is the first step. So, uh, now how we can compare? Now, when you take this 0, 0, here uh, W is not changing, X is not changing, Y is not changing, Z is changing. That is from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. Okay, so now it means Z plus Z complement. It means this variable can be eliminated. So, you have to check in such a way that only one variable change. So, for example, if you take these two, let us, as an example, I'm telling you, uh, if you take this two, okay, when it comes, I'll explain. Now, we'll see that there must be only one change. So, when you take these two, there is a, only a one change. Now, again, so, W, X, Y, and Z. Right. Now I am going to check G1 with G2. So the first term with the first term of group two. So when I compare, what happened? Okay, now what happened when you compare, it becomes zero, zero, and zero because the first three variables are same, only the fourth variable changes. So now that can be represented. You, you can't write either as a zero or one. You have to write it with an underscore. Okay, you have to write it like this. Okay, now. What we have to do is, since we have taken this, so since we have taken this, we uh, that is uh, G one and G2. Within G1 and G2, what uh, information we have taken is 0, the min term respectively is 0 and 1. So, what we do is uh, we just put a check mark. Okay, tick mark because these two are involved and they, what we have taken is 0 and 1. So, that combination you have to write in this column. So, you follow. Here, since these two are taken, and we have may, uh, taken the next group, uh, and these two are involved, we put a tick mark there, as we have considered those two, and then you have to write a respective combination, zero and one here, right? Now, let us consider this and this, that is zero and two. Now, when you take this position, there is no change. In this position, there is no change. There is a change in Y only. Okay, is it is same. So how you will be writing this zero, zero, that change you have to write it as an underscore and then one. Okay, so now we take that. Now, since we have uh, considered this, that is two. So 
different steps. Here, what we have taken combination zero and two, right? Then the next one is this and this. So when you take that, first is the change. The second, the next or same, both are zero. That is here is also zero. Here is also zero. Zero, 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 zero. When there is no change, you write the information as such. The change only you represent. That is zero to one or one to zero. That only you consider, and then you put it as a hyphen. So now this is also. Uh, so put a tick mark here and write zero and eight. Okay. So this combinations we have take. Now this will form the second group. Here we form the groups like ones, and in this next one we form try to form another group where G one and G two are compared, and that become one group. So the next one G two and G three we are going to compare. So when you compare, see this here there is a change. Okay, if you take this one, let me write here zero 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 one, and here one zero one. Zero. Now, when you see this here, there is a change from zero to one. Here there is no change, but here there is a change, and here that is it. So this combination you should not take because there are three changes. If there is only one change, then you can take. But here three variables are changing. One is changing from zero to one, here zero to one, then one to zero. So this combination you should not. Let me erase this. Right now, so this and this cannot be compared. So next, you take zero zero one zero. See here, zero zero one zero. That is for this, and then one zero one zero. Here, both are same. Both are same. Both are same. Here only this is changing. So now this can be taken. So the next one we are going. We have to take is uh, that you have to write it as hyphen zero one and zero. Okay. So this is the next one. And since ten is ten, we have taken. We have to put a tick mark here, and here what combination says that it is uh, two, two one, ten. So it is two one, ten. For that we got this. So the next one we can take. See here, this, this, this. So when you see there is no change, but here there is change. Here there is no change. Here there is no change. So only one variable is changing from zero to one. So this combination also we can take. So which is nothing but eight and ten. Okay. So how it looks? One will come as such zero. Then here you put a hyphen and then zero because that is a variable is changing. Okay, now this form another group. So let me draw a line in order to differentiate. Okay, ah, huh. there. Now we have to compare this and this. We have this and this is over. Now we have to compare G three and G four. So what happened now? When you compare these two. Uh, one zero one zero. So see this. This is same. This is same. This is same. Only this is same. So this can be considered. That is ten uh, and eleven. So you can take that ten and eleven. So how you will be writing that? Uh, one zero one and hyphen. Okay. So you can take this. Car has to be taken when you are taking any variable. 
combinations and when it is involved you have to check it here okay so don't forget to check since we have taken 11 let me check it so next we will take this that is this 10 and this uh, this is same but here there is a change only one variable these two are same these two are same that is i'll show you see here i'll take one zero one zero one zero and then this one 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 zero now if you say there is no change here there is no change here here there is no change, but here only changes there. so this can be considered so now now we take this and we write okay so one hyphen and then one and then zero so this from the next group so we'll differentiate this also okay now g4 and g5 has to be compact now we completed g1 g2 g2 g3 g3 g4 now each and every element must be compact. If there is possibility only, we will write it here. Now this and this, yes, because one is same, here one is same, here one is same. Only there is zero to one, here that's the change. So now what we do is, let us write it here. One, then hyphen, one and one. This is the last group. Okay, now, we compare the next one here this and this there is change only here so this also can be taken it is one 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 and taken when there is a change occurring you have to enter it as a hyphen so now since uh, this is taken now we have to consider since we have taken this also so what is this value this I haven't entered. So what you have to do is, uh, this is 10 and 11 we have taken, and 10 and 40. So that we have taken here. So then and there you please fill it up, or else lead to confusion. Here both are considered. So we take it as what is this value? This is 11. So 11 and we have compared 11 with 15. Then 14 with 15. So we write that also. Okay, so this combination of three. So if you see that all are checked because everything is involved in the forming this group. Now, the next one is to form another group. The next subgroup. So we do that. So you have to draw diagrams like this. You have to draw like this, and then and then you have to fill it up the terms which you have taken for consideration. Then the next one is what is the next step? The same thing again. W, X, Y, and Z. Now. You have to consider this group and this group, then this and this, and then this and this. So likewise, you have to compare. So how you will be comparing? When you see this, see here, zero and zero. You, you better check for the underscore. The same position you can check. You no need to compare everything. See here, I'm checking for this underscore. Now, when I see there is no underscore as a for in either, in either position, so I cannot compare. So that itself will show you there is a lot of change. So next, so this cannot be compared, this cannot be compared. Now I take this value, uh, the one uh, which has an underscore under the variable y. Now when I see this, it cannot be compared, but now I can take this. This and this, uh, as a first step we can take. The next step we have to see how many variables are changing. So this is same, and this and this are same, and this and this are same. The variable is changing from zero to one. So only one this. See, for example, 
I'll write it here separately. Here, what this? Now I take uh, this, okay? Because this cannot be compared with any of this. So I'm taking this and I'm comparing this. No, it cannot be. But I can compare with this. So one, zero, hyphen, zero. If you see this, both are same here also. This also you have to consider it as a variable which has the same value underscore in both. So same, here same. But here there is a change. So these two can be taken. So what we do is, we are going to take as a next step to as a next step what we are going to do is we have this is not involved whereas this can be taken this we have so put a tick mark and this and this we have taken okay and what is the combination after comparing we get the value uh, there you have to substitute this change. In this change, you have to substitute a hyphen. So hyphen zero, already hyphen is there. That is it's not, sorry, hyphen, it is underscore. Okay. So now this is the one which we have. So what is the combination? But also we have to write. Okay. So what's the combination we have? Here, uh, 0 to 0, comma, 2, comma, 8, comma, 10. Okay, this is the one which we have taken here. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, 0, 2, and 8, 10. So, 0, 2, 8, 10. So, uh, that also has to be noted down, right? Now, how we are noting down here is combination. So, like this, this is the combinations we are taking down, taking for uh, generating this group. So, that also has to be written. Okay. Now, now we have to take the next one. It is cancer. See, we have finished this. 2 and 8. Then uh, this we check. Here, when you see, uh, you can take this because this is an underscore is in that position. That is W. You cannot compare this with this. Okay, so we can compare this. When you compare, it has an underscore. So same, no change. Here, no change. But here, there is a change. And here, there is a, so only one variable. So this combinations you can take. So what will we do? Now let me write the combinations 0, 8, 2, 10. Okay. Then here also we'll write the result. 0, 8, 2, 10. That is what we are going to take to underscore 0. Then uh, since 0 to 1 chain, we mark it by underscore and then 0. Now, this is so far. So this group we have four. Okay, this all are compared. Right. Now, we have to compare this and this. Now take this value. No, it is not matching. Okay, so this we cannot take. Right. Now, since we have taken 0, 8, 2, 10, that has to be checked. That I will do first. 0, 8, and 2, 10. These two are involved. Okay. Then, we have to take this and this, this and this. No. Now, let us consider whether anything is the third position. This cannot be done. And this cannot be done. So, these two grab group does not match in any position. Now, we'll take this and this. Now, you take this underscore here. No. But we can compare this with this. Let us see. Here the underscore is that. So that position you can compare. One, then one is the here that's a change, zero to one. So the other one is also one. So that is only one change. So this we can take it. So one underscore, one and underscore. So 
this combination we can take and we write it so what are all the what is the combinations we have um since we have taken this and this it is 10 11 and then 14 and 15 okay right now that is 10 11 14 15, because we are comparing these two so now I let me put that check mark here 11 14 15 so these two compare and we get this so next so this is compared with this cannot be done but when it is compared with this uh, it can be form, it can form a match pair. Now the next one we have to check this. Yes, this has underscore in this question. So let us try whether only one variable is changing other than this. So one, one, here same, here same, here that's a change. So we can consider this. So let me put a tick mark here since we are going to take these two. And then we'll write what is it? 10, comma 14, comma. 11 comma 15 so this combination we can take now here one already it is underscore then one and then underscore so okay now uh, these are checked, whereas this is not checked, okay? Because zero and one is not at all we are taking, whereas zero, two, zero, eight, zero, two, and yeah, zero, eight, two, ten, we have taken, zero, two, eight, ten, we had, so we have checked that and that. Then, finally, we take this, whether uh, we can compare. Already, it is same. Okay, here it is same, here it is same, here it is same. So this cannot be further reduced. Here also the same, same question, all are same. So this cannot be, so this will be the final one. So the, these are also to be the prime implicant. The one which are not checked, you have to go through the previous uh, groups and check whether any of the uh, combination is not checked. Here we find that this is not checked and this is also not checked. So that will give you the that will give you the prime implicant. So how you can write the prime implicant? This combination you have to write. That is W bar, X bar, and Y bar. It is nothing but zero comma one. Okay. Then this you have X bar. And then Z bar. Okay. X bar and Z bar. And here you have W, then Y. So these are the prime implicants. So the next step is whether these prime implicants are essential or not. That is what we have to find. So for that, again, you have to put a table. So how you can draw that table? Now, first you have to write the combination so here when you take zero and one okay you have to write like this. from this you can write so what is it w bar x bar and then y bar then write that combination then x bar is it bar write the prime implicants which you are obtaining from this table and you have to draw another table. So here you have 0, 2, 8, 10. Okay. The next one is, what is the combination? 10, 11. We will rearrange it. 10, 11. We'll make it as an ascending order. 10, 11, 14. 15. Okay, now you have W and Y. Now, 
what the next step is you have to write uh, this we have written from this so the unchecked one you have to write down the com the combination matched pair this we call it as writing right like this is called match pair then you have to write the equivalent prime uh, the value you have to check this value and you have to write it in as a min term right now you have to write the given the min term in the given equation you have to write here column one 0 1 2 then 8 10 11 14 and then 15 right now for easy let me draw the columns Now, what you have to do is you have to put a tick mark for this combination. So, for example, here we have 0 and 1, right? So, with that, for this combination, we have this term. So, the tick mark 0 and 1. Okay, we have first we have to write all the min terms in the given equation. And then these are all the prime implicants which you are obtaining from this. So write that combination also. Then you have to write this. These are all the variables. And this is a matched pair from which we got this min term. So you have to put a check mark of this combination. So here 0, then 2, then 8, and then 10. Then for this, 10, then 11, 14, and 15. Now, what you do is, uh, you have to check for the one, after this is over, you have to check the column which has only one tick, okay? And that will be the essential, that will be called as essential prime implicant. So now if you see this, now if you see this, this is, this one is, essential prime because only one tick is there and if you see this and then only one because there is only one chick, tick mark okay that you have to take and then you can consider this this and this okay now so draw a circle like this which are having a single check mark and then you have to take those in the row which are having that combination so for example here single tick mark is there you take this this row so this will be considered as a essential prime implicant here if you take this uh, this will be even if there is single one that will be considered here there are two check marks are there the row wise so this will be considered as a important that is essential prime implicant here we have that so this also will be considered as a prime implicant so all the three are considered to be the important prime implicant. So you will be writing all as important one. Okay. So here W bar, X bar, and then Y bar plus X bar, Z bar plus W and Y. This will be considered the reduced equation. Now, if we uh, try Carnap map, we'll see. See the Carnap map. So this side, you know, it is X and sorry, W and X. And here you have this y and z. 
Okay, so this is zero, 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 one. I'm sorry, I'm not able to write it properly. Okay, I try my level best. Zero, 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 one, 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 zero. And here, zero, 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 one, one, zero. Now, what you have to do is you have to fill up the respect. You have to form this corner of up. So when you say here, this is the zero the position. So for that, we enter a one or one here, zero, 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 one. So that combination we enter two, two is zero, zero, one, zero here. Then eight, zero, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here it comes. Okay, eight. One zero zero zero. See one zero zero zero. That is eight. That's the combination, isn't it? Then ten, eight, nine. Here ten will come here. Okay, ten. Then eleven. Eleven. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven here. Then. 14, 11, 12, 13, 14 here and 15 here. Okay. Now, if you form the equation, what will happen? Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 9, 10, and 11, 4, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. Now, form the quad. Then, so, you can form like this. And then, here, you can form. So, Okay, then you can check whether you are having this equation. So I'm leaving it to you to verify the whether you are getting the same value. So you can form. Already you know how to form a corn of math and how to reduce the equation from this. So you check whether you are getting the same answer or not.